Hello folks, in this tech note I'm going to have a look at the Wemos Lolian 32 board which gave me a surprising low power result which I thought I'd share with you. There's a quick overview of the, the board itself. Um, FCC certified. Um, good thing about this board is it has um, plenty of ground connections so if you're into development and you want to make sensor connections plenty of grounds which is extremely useful there's the 5 volt uh, V in from the uh, USB 3 volts uh, at numerous places around the board again exceptionally useful there's also um, grouped together which I like is the clock uh, master out slave in and master in slave out for the SBI bus um, the hardware serial port 1617 and the programming port transmit receive not you need to use that and the two analog ports VP and VN enable um, and quite a few GPIO ports GPIO 5 is connected to an LED so you nicely labeled on the board as well so really I'm quite impressed by this board all round. So when you're programming you need to select the ID board type Lowland 32. It's now the revision 1 uh, silicon on this particular board. FCC shielding and FCC uh, certification. One LED on the board. There's a charging LED connected to GPIO 5. A UART in use this time is a CP2104, still a low power uh, UART. I think it's 200 microamps in quiescent mode. There's a USB programming port as usual, a connection for a LiPo via a 2mm um, JST uh, plug, the TP4054 um, LiPo charger. The same as the ESP32 um, Lite, the Lolin one, which is the same regulator, ME6211. If you want to apply power, use any one of those three, or all of them, it doesn't matter, 3 volt or 3.3 volt to be precise, um, um, pins for power connection. So generally, here's a scenario where you might be programming a BME280 sensor using your PC. You're developing your code and when you're content with the code and you want to perhaps try out a low power mode or standalone mode you pull away disconnect the PC and then power up the board with a 3.3 um, volt source in this example I'm showing an IFR 18650 3.2 volt nominal battery you could use a, it's not, a, yeah, I was going to emphasize it's not a, a LiPo 18650 cell, which is a nominal voltage of 3.7 to 4.2 volts, but you could use two dry cells or three 1.2 NICADs. The NICADs are just over the allowable voltage range, but if they're slightly discharged, they're, they're perfectly usable in my experience. So that's how you would go into a low power mode with this particular board. So here's my summary of the board. In normal no Wi-Fi operation 52 milliamps versus 58 no great change there. Normal operation with the Wi-Fi on um, uh, about 30 milliamps less. Um, 7.6 milliamps when it's being powered from 5 volts and uh, the surprise was in deep sleep when you're powering at 3.3 volts it's only requires 0.235 milliamps. Uh, it's much less than the light version of the Lolin 32 board. Therefore it's using eight times less power on, on th when powered from the 3.3 volt power pins which is good for low power development. That dual power capability is exceptionally useful. It acts as like a backup. The maximum upload speed is 921 kiloboard that's because of the CP2104 UART that's fitted. That latest silicon at revision 1 solves a lot of the ESP minor niggles, especially on startup. Um, you can therefore 
develop your code using this board um, with the USB port and then disconnect the PC and power it up with 3.3 volt source and enjoy low power operation and I calculate with a 2600 milliamp hour battery it'll last for about a year with a 3 second on 57 second off uh, sleep duration hope you found that review useful enjoy